people of YouTube. Once again, I come at you, and this time, I have a quote-unquote fan request, or let's just call it a subscriber request. Not too sure I actually have fans. <laughs> All right, and this person requested that I do a top 10 list of my best arcade games. I'm not too sure if he meant my favorite arcade games or my best scores, but I decided to just go with the best scores, presuming that's what he meant. If not, oh well. If it was my favorite arcade games, there's a couple games that I really like that aren't on this list, like Juno first is a really, really, really good game. Not many people know about it, but it's it's an awesome game. And I didn't put this on the list because Juno first I had I think a 600k score and a lot of people have bragged about how easy it is to get a million. I've put a lot of effort into it and I couldn't get a million, so <laughs> I, I had to not put it on the list. So it's an honorable mention. Another, another honorable mention would be my Timber score. I've got a 350,000 score on that. Another honorable mention would be Galaxian, the arcade version, not the Atari 2600 one. I have a 50,000k score, and that took a little bit of time to get to that, so, yeah. All right, now it's time for the top 10, at least with scores. Number 10 is Nibbler. And the reason why I picked this is because 2.6 million, although it's way off the record of 1.2 billion with a B. This is around right before usually about 2 million. People tend to are able to marathon the game, so I wasn't. But still, 2.6 million is the level right before. This was a tournament game, and I put a lot of time into it, so this is one that's on main. You can find this score if you go to a site called Retro Uprising. All right, number nine. This is the only game that's newer than 1985, believe it or not. All the other games are golden era games from the early 80s. All right, this is number nine, Space Invaders. I don't know, I was just naturally good at it, and it was a tournament game that I played. There was like a bunch, there was like 28 games, but with this game, though, I just found I liked it a lot, and I was... Okay, I didn't play it after the tournament, but still, it's a decent score. Space Invaders 95, 447,160. Not world class by any means, but this is a top 10 score, so I only really have, to be honest with you, five or six scores that are arcade that are like world class. All the other ones are not are decent scores very good scores, but I wouldn't call them anything close to great. Alright, number eight. Super All Punch Out. This is the spin-off sequel to Punch Out. And I have a 274,250 score. This, again, can be found on Retro, Uprisi Retro Uprising, which is found for number 10, 9, and 8. So, in order to get to this, you need to get to I think his name is Macho Camacho or something. And you have to get to the third one to get a score like that. And yeah, I'm proud of it. It's 274, 250. All right, number seven. You might, this is a world record. And you'd be like, why are you putting one of your world records as like seven instead of higher? Well, the reason why is I didn't spend a ton of time on this game. I've probably spent about 30 hours, 35 hours, and that's not a lot of time. But still, though, I'm somewhat proud of it because I there was another record holder who I beat, but then that record holder beat me, and then I beat him for a second time. Then he came back for a third time, and then I beat him for a third time. So I am the current world record holder and three-time champion of Sky Skipper, the only video game I can say I am a multiple time champion of the game and I encourage actually people to go after the score and beat it 
So that maybe I can become a four-time champion. Also, Nintendo recently released this game with a high score mode, so there is a very good chance I haven't studied the scores on Nintendo Switch because I don't have a Nintendo Switch. But there's a very good chance that someone has a higher score than this on Nintendo Switch because, like I said, I didn't spend a ton of time on it and they have a high score mode. But hey, when, if anyone knows what the Nintendo Switch high score on Skyskipper is, please tell me so I can, like, go after that score on MAME. And this score right here can be found on Mark. So if there is a higher score on Nintendo Switch, please tell me, and I will go after that score so I can become Photon Champion. All right. <laughs> Number six. Zaxxon. This is a game that, for whatever reason, a lot of people don't like the game. I mean, a lot of people, about 70-75% of people are like, yeah, this game sucks. And to be honest, the world record is like 4 million. But still, like I said, this is right before you start mastering the game, in my opinion. So number six is Zaxxon. And also, it's 288,300. The reason why I have it as number six is because this was done on an arcade machine. And it was done on a tournament. I practiced, practiced, practiced. And I went to the tournament, and I got a, an all-time high score at the tournament. So I'm like, yeah. Number six, why not? All right. Number five. Moon Patrol. My score is 329,940. And... You have to be really decent at the game to get 300k. Yeah, I know the record's like 1.5 million, so I'm not even close. Still, I like this game a lot. It's maybe my second favorite game behind Donkey Kong 3. And so, for me, yeah, why not? 329,000. And if you were to add up all the scores of Moon Patrol, I think it's still in the top 15, which is pretty good considering that Moon Patrol is a really, really, really popular game. All right, time for number four. Number four is arm wrestling. Oh yeah, the Moon Patrol score can be found on Retro Uprising. Arm wrestling, 791,850. There's actually a video on YouTube with this. This is higher than the arcade score from, I think, the 80s. Anyway, this I'm very proud of because I got to the final board, which is board 20. Most people don't know is this is a game that cannot be marathon. They in Actually, this is the only Nintendo game that I know of that has an intentional kill screen. After the 20th round, the game closes. And just says, game closed. <laughs> so, boom, yeah. And this I'm very proud of because you really have to be on key with your timing. And it gets insane. The difficulty level is extremely hard. Like, for instance, besides my score, no other person has gone half has gotten 400,000 officially on this game. At least they haven't submitted. There's people that have claimed to have like 600k scores, but they have no evidence of it. So as far as official scores, yeah. Number four, and I spent a ton of time on it, at least 125 hours on this game. So yeah, I'm proud of it. Number three, people will probably be surprised I've got this as number three. It's... Donkey Kong, and as you see, it's 877, 300, and you're like, wait a minute, isn't the top score 1,247,000 something? I'm like, yeah. And isn't the score not even in the top 10? Yeah. And you're like, isn't the score not even in the top 50? And I'm like, yeah. I think it's 72nd all time. 
but it's a really, really, really competitive game. This is the most competitive arcade game of all time by far when it comes to high score. Yeah, nah, there is, for any, or okay, at least the early 80s games, this is the number one game. Galaga is very competitive too. Robotron is also a very competitive game, but this one tops them all. And so, yeah, I know that it's not even the top 50, but it still takes a ton of time to get to the kill screen. And so, also the reason why I put it as a number three is where I got it. This is my highest score, and I got it at the Kong Off. The officially the biggest tournament for any arcade game, which is Donkey Kong. I did it in front of, like, a whole bunch of people, and so I'm super proud of it, even though it's not in the top 50. All right, now here are my two games. As you can see, if I'm putting Donkey Kong as number three, most of my scores that I've gotten aren't really that great since my Donkey Kong score is not even in the top 50. So, but these two scores I would put above my Donkey Kong score. And number two, I did this on MAME and you can find it at MARP, multiple arcade something. Anyway. 1,313,800. It's not the record. It's not even the main record anymore. But it was the record at one time. And it's fourth place. And Donkey Kong Jr. is not as popular as Donkey Kong. But it's still pretty darn popular. And there's another score I was thinking of putting down here. It was one that's lower than this. 1,308,000. The reason why is because for one month, just one month... It was the highest Donkey Kong Jr. score, either arcade or MAME. And so I was super proud of that at the time. And so, if, but this is higher, so I'm like, yeah, but this is higher. But I do have that score, and it's at Twin Galaxies. So you can go check Twin Galaxies. It's 1,308,000. It's not even the first place for MAME. But at one time, it was the highest score, either for, so yeah. I take pride in that. And it took me way too long to get the score. <sighs> Over 1,700 hours? Really? That long? To get that? I've spent more time on this than the number one score. But the number one score is the game that I'm naturally good at. And I think everyone has the one game that they are naturally good at. And if they spent, I've spent about 750 hours on this game. And if anyone were to spend 750 hours at the game that they are naturally good at, that they love, and put that much time into it, they would become really, 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 really good at that game. And this is the game. And maybe I put way too much time into this game. And I, but anyway, the number one game, and you probably have guessed it, Donkey Kong 3. To be honest, if it didn't have the Donkey Kong in the title, and let's say they went with the original idea of Greenhouse, it probably would never have as much competition or many... There's like over 100 entries, submissions for that score, which is a lot for classic gaming. So anything with Donkey Kong in the title has a lot of... It's sort of like... If you know the speedrunning community, it's sort of like the Super Mario Brothers 2 of video games. People may hate on that game, but it still has a relatively competitive title just because that's Super Mario in the title. Same thing with Donkey Kong 3. It's a relatively semi-popular game to compete on. And that's a game that some people despise because it's Nothing like Donkey Kong, and some people really like it because, ironically enough, it's nothing like Donkey Kong. So it's really a love or hate game. And the reason why I picked that as number one is you ask anyone in the community, the Donkey Kong community, you ask the world record holders, you ask anyone that knows of my scores on that game, and ask them, oops, what... Who is the best player at this game? And they might even laugh at you and say, why are you even asking me this question? It's obvious. It's 
me, George, and they'd be like, it's George Riley. And the reason why is my scores are two to three times higher than anyone else at the moment. There could come a time, maybe three months, where someone beats my scores. But at the moment, my scores completely dwarf everyone else's. At the moment. I do expect eventually someone's going to beat me. So, who knows? But anyway, yeah, that's my number one. But even if someone does beat me, it still would be my number one score because of what I did with that game. Before I touched that game, like this one... Okay, this is on settings to, if you go to MAME, it's the setting right above easy. It's 8,700,000. The reason why I picked this is because I did it at a Kong off. I did it in front of people. I did it live. And for me, if I do it live in front of people, it means a little bit more than doing it at home. And so I put it at number one, and there's another score that I did live was a five-man Donkey Kong 3 score. It's 1.3 million. Again, that's another score that no one's even within half of. And I did that live at the Kong off, too. So, and there's another score that is on official TG settings, Twin Galaxy settings, and that's a 6.1 million score. I'm proud of that one, too. So, there's four different settings for that game. Five-man and marathon as well. So, four settings on Marathon, four settings on Five Man, and at the moment, I have the highest score on all four settings. So, yeah, that's that's the game I'm known for. So, and I here's the thing. I truly believe that 90% of you who are listening, watching this, if you picked or to play Golden Age games from the early 80s, and you found the one game that you really, really liked that you also happened to be naturally good at, and you put in the amount of time of 750 hours into that game, you would become insanely good, and people would be like, yeah, you are the best at that game, and no one's even close. And so I'm proud of it because, yeah, I'm really good at that game, but I also realize that almost everyone that's watching me has a game that they can do the same exact thing and get a super score on. They just have to find the right game, the one that they're naturally good at, the one that they love to play. And if you have all the right settings, the one where the competition hasn't taken it hardcore serious like Donkey Kong. Now, if you love to play Donkey Kong, you probably won't get the record. If you love to play Miss Pac-Man, you probably won't get the record. If you're naturally good at certain games... That are really, really popular? No. But, yeah, if you love to play arm wrestling, <laughs> you'll get the record. You'll beat my score and just totally destroy it. So, yeah, most of my scores are not huge. They're not that big. Like I said, number three is a 72nd place score of Donkey Kong. So, in reality, I haven't done a ton of stuff except for my top two scores are, really, I think, pretty nice. All right, thank you for watching. I probably dragged down a little bit too long. Sorry about that. Have a nice day, people on YouTube.